So um, just doing a diagnostics on a um, Toyota. This is a Toyota 4 runner. Same deal with the Privia Drago SMO those. You've got an OBD1 port. And uh, looking at the cap, you can see what the pins are. So you want to connect the pins from the E1 to E1. Uh, if you got a TE2, um, you can get a, a diagnostics um, tool that you could actually plug in and get all sorts of readings from your car anyway. So you get a ju jump it across, doesn't matter how long your wire is. So people are saying that you get a little short wire, but it doesn't really matter as long as you're. Yeah. Turn the ignition on, but don't start. And get some codes. One, two, three, four. Pause. One. Forty-one. One, two. Three, four, one. Okay, now see if it comes up with another code. No, so it's just forty one. Sometimes it'll um run the same code three times and then you've got to wait it out and then uh after three k after it's repeated that three codes that one code three times rather then the second code should show up and uh sometimes it'll just be code for code it could be three fla three flashes and two pause and then it could be two flashes and one and so forth so that's um yeah it's still reading 41 so I believe that's a throttle position sensor, but it's um simple as that. Too easy. Oh, got me code now, and um, take your jumper out, put the cap back on, and that's it. That's it. That's as see, easy as that. Uh, just showing you that today because I'm um, actually had a mate who's got a Toyota, not had, but rather have. A mate that's got a Toyota um, four-wheel drive as well. Uh, I can't remember what it was right now. Anyway, it cost him 80 bucks to get the codes pulled from it, and he didn't ask me first, so that's his own fault. Anyhow, thanks for watching, guys.